Hello, welcome to Lemon Studios, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm, of course, Lemon himself, Zeke Lamone, and this is my review for Season 2 finale of House of the Dragon. But before we get into that, let's get the house clean out of the way, shall we? I'm going to leave a like. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on House of the Dragon finale, and of course, hit that subscribe button as it helps me grow into my YouTube career. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, all out of the way, let's get into the review. So, I said this in my immediate reaction on TikTok. And I also sent it to my House of the Dragon chat that I am in with a few friends that I have at work. And I said, look, a lot of people ain't going to like this finale because not much happened. Well, a lot happened. We culminated everything that we built up in this season. Absolutely. But as far as the big bang, boom, battle, dragon fire, uh, back back cross all that kind of scandals if you will that doesn't really happen in this episode and quite frankly that was kind of the theme for this whole entire season i think there was like only real like three big moments uh throughout but i gotta say even though i can see a lot of people not liking this finale and if my tiktok comic section has anything to say about it it does look like i'm right that a lot of people did not like this finale i absolutely loved it and i am all for a setup season for a following season if you're this good because there's another show that came out this year that a lot of people think wow that is the best show of 2024 and i will also make the argument that that was also a setup season for a following season and that is the boys so i really am trying to understand the differences between house of the dragon setup season and the boys uh setup season but you know they are two completely different entities some have two completely different audiences. I am someone who enjoys both, uh, but I do think they are in the same realm, and I do both think both shows delivered very, very well. Uh, we will kick off with Damien. Um, he was someone that I was really hard on throughout the whole entire season, not as a character, just the whole arc and the storyline. I didn't really get it. The whole Luigi Mansion thing, you know, we've seen the memes. I, I'm not in the minority. A lot of people were very frustrated with Damien's arc. But I gotta say, seeing it culminate here on this episode, especially with when Nera shows up and goes face to face with him and going, what's going on? And they have a full on conversation where he has fully art. I get it now. I understood everything that he had to go through. I mean, seeing everyone again and is he a third eye Raven now? <laughs> because you know, he saw the third eye and we see the Night King and then uh, he sees Daenera. I, I, I'm assuming that was her. And knowing now he's understanding he's not the piece, he's just a piece. And he does bend the knee to Renera, like, look, you need to be on the throne. This is what uh, my brother wanted, and I'm going to fulfill that. And rallying them all together with this uh, epic music going to, we are going to defend our queen. I gotta say, it was a battle. It was a battle uh, following Dana throughout this whole entire season. But again, it was very fulfilled. When, once we got to that situation. So now when we do get into these wars next season, the punches are gonna hit even more because now we actually know, okay, he is fully with Renera. He's not going back and forth and like has a deeper plan to go for the throne more. Like, no, he is full on defending. Same thing with Eamon. Uh, we'll, we'll head over to Team Green for a little bit and go with, with uh, everything that's going on with them because the big thing is with Renera. Um, that, he is scared again he sees Renera has all these dragon riders now he does now know he's not the big bad you know has all the cards in play because he has Vagar because now all she has to do is send Renera can easily win this easily win this and I still think she should take um the see uh, the hands uh, advice and just go and you know demolish and just guarantee victory but I know she's not going to, which is why we're going to be able to set up this much more even war, especially with one of the dragon riders that I'm not fully behind because he is just so wild with it. And it'll be see, it's going to be interesting to see how he arcs and grows. Um, but yeah, she could easily win this uh, for sure. And Eamon knows that. And he is scared. And the way that he's going about things, like how he went into, um, crap, the queen, the queen's name. I, I don't remember her who is actually probably a three-eyed raven because she was actually having a full-on conversation with Damon uh, when he was having his whole vision quest when he touched the tree. 
that he was just grabbing her, forcing her to come along, and he he's just unhinged completely. And that was the moment where Alex finally breaks and is like, I'm so wrong. <laughs> Rhaenyra should be on the throne. And she heads over and goes over to see Rhaenyra in her house, which was a big boss move, an absolute big boss move. Uh, and then we'll touch on Aegon for a little bit. He runs away with uh, Lysaris. Um, I, I'm very curious to see how that plays into season three. Because uh, I do think Aegon has some point. He goes, well, I can't just leave. I'm the king. Just get me to the throne and I'll get him in prison. And then to Lasari's point, he's like, yeah, make you even more weaker. She has more dragons, but you need Vagar. You can't put him in prison. And if you don't, then he kills you. So let's just let's just roll. And now that he's not there, and after Alicent and Rhaenyra's conversation, where it was made very, very clear to Alicent, like, look, I need to kill Aegon. I, I just have to. A son for a son. Especially after everything that's been built up. His head needs to be put on a platter to make it obvious. Otherwise, we're going to piss even more people off. And Allison agreeing, and now he's not there. <laughs> and it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays in into season three because now we're in such unknown territory. Um, so this conversation, beautiful. I absolutely loved it between Renera and Allison. Again, everything that was being built up between them. Renera going from this really from the bottom, you know, trying to get her council's approval, not making any moves. I mean, even our guy who went to go check on Damon going, look, we need a king, we need a leader of men, because uh, she ain't working out, she's not making much moves. You know, I, I, I'm I, trying to uh, keep keep my oath to your brother, but you know, she just she just isn't working, Damon, we, we, we need you. And going from that, now being this ultimate superpower and Ellison, who was up there, they kind of switched roles completely. And you know, it's funny because, you know, Rhaenyra went over to Alicent and then Alicent went over to Rhaenyra to end off just to show the completely difference between them. And Alicent just coming clean, like, look, I, I just want to wash my hands with this. Rhaenyra going, we can't just wash our hands with this. Blood has been shed. There's been too much invested into this just for this to go, oops, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, no, she should be on it. And yeah, I think Rhaenyra has a point. Like, one of them has to die. Aegon or Rhaenyra has to die in order for this war to end. So, what's it going to be? And Alicent reluctantly decided to let her kid die, which is still not. I'm still not sure how I fully feel about that choice. Like, I get it, but also I don't <laughs> because like that's your son. Um, but also, I mean, he is broken, and you know, it, it it'll probably be easier for him to just die as opposed to you know continue to live on because. The conversation he has with uh, Laris of, uh, you know, like he doesn't have um, a uh, undergarment anymore, we will say, because, you know, YouTube is like that. Uh, you know, he's completely burnt. He can barely walk and all that stuff. She's probably like, yeah, just take, just take, just take the kid out of his misery. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this episode. I love everything that was set up. Again, now that all the chess pieces are in play, there's still some very interesting things to go on. Like I said, with the Dragon Riders, with our guy, that uh, was at the bar the whole entire time, who was very open, like, oh yeah, I am a bastard and all that stuff. The the coward, uh, if you will, because I do not know his name yet, and how he's just being completely reckless with it, like, oh, I can ride a dragon. Uh, give me these foods, woman, blah, 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 and I like, got the table, and, Ren and Renera's trying to check him going, hey, you know, um, you should probably like uh, show some uh, respect uh, for your queen all of a sudden, because well, they make me the knight that you promised. He's even, you know, talking back to Jace. He, he's going to be really interesting to see uh, moving forward and see how that arc goes. Will he be humble or will he go join Team Green where he can kind of act the way that they they do? It just seems like he does kind of have some high tower blood in him with how he's acting. Um, I'm really curious to see between Renera and um, uh, what's her name? Crap, I forgot her name. Her real hand. Let's just let's just call it. Let's just call it like it is. I mean, she reconciles with her more than anything, you know, and they shared a kiss. How's that going to play now that Damien does completely side with her and, you know, they do have each other's backs the whole entire time. Again, is Damien fully with Renera? Will something happen where he does become like a third party? Really interested to see how that goes, but it is good that they're all on the same side. Where are Aegon and Lara's going? How is Allison going to react that Aegon is gone? Um, and we have another dragon rider that's out there. And also, uh, oh crap, what's her name? The other girl who took 
uh, Daenerys uh, eggs that she gets later when it's Game of Thrones and not House of the Dragon. She finds a dragon. How is that going to play? I'm just really excited. I'm really excited for season three. I think they did a great job. I thought this whole entire season was great. I can, again, I can understand the criticism of what every episode was filler. But again, I say there's other great shows. One like this year that was called The Boys, if you did watch it. I would also make the argument, all that was filler. But again, it's all going to pay off more once we do get into these battles. Once we understand where everyone's coming from. Like Cole actually loves Alicent. And it's not just, you know, out of petty with Rhaenyra. Not gonna lie. That was actually kind of nice to see, especially with the brother going, you betrayed your oath, and I guess his whole entire team knows that he betrayed his oath too, and he's just like, yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, kill me if you want, because honestly, it's a dragon's war, and he's just like so defeated, because he is completely powerless against these dragons. But yeah, I absolutely love this season. I thought it was great. Let me know what y'all thought about it down in the comment section. Do y'all um, agree with TikTok that this was a horrible season? Or are you like me? Like, you know what? Yeah, no, this was actually a really good season. I'm excited for season three. Let's get in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Leave a like if you made it this far. I do greatly appreciate it. And of course, hit that subscribe button uh, as I am trying to grow into my YouTube career. We still got some more shows coming out later on this year. We got The Penguin. We got The the Dune Show coming out that I don't remember. We got Rings of Power. There is a lot still to come. A lot more television. A lot of movies. And if you're into wrestling, we also got that too. So hit that subscribe button if you want to follow all that. And until next time, guys, I'll see you here. Out of the studios.